Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. So, um, it is 5.24, and I just wanna go ahead and acknowledge right now, um, the house is a mess, okay? Y'all don't come for me. What happened was, this is the first week of school, and so in the last month, I have had so many transitions from going back to work full time, getting my twin daughters prepped to go to daycare in the morning, and now, um, I said month, month and a half, now my boys are back in school, and so my routines have not been optimized for this recent change. My boys are back at school and that just throws like a whole wrench into what I was doing. But it's okay, because I was expecting it. I knew this day was coming. Uh, this week, we are just doing the best that we can and it's not very great, but it's okay. I just want to give y'all a heads up as we get into this day. Today is Friday the 20th. Um, that's not beautiful, but it's fine because I feel like I have like anxiety on one end, like, oh my God, like things are falling apart. But on the other side, I also have experience and I have been through enough transitions to know that it's okay for your system to fall apart, you know, and it will fall apart when there's life changes or any major changes. And, you know, you can start to rebuild and pull it back together again. And I will pull myself out of this transition hole eventually. So home keeping stuff, we gotta fix that. But something else that is not working for me includes making um, breakfast and getting lunches and snacks ready for the kids. This is the first time I've ever had to get everything prepped for four kids to get out the house in the morning. So I don't have like good systems in place or strategies in place for that. And it's brutal. Yeah, I have to get it done in a reasonable amount of time. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. And uh, yeah. Hello, welcome to my office. So yeah, um, we get powered up for the day. So my official shift starts at 7.30. I asked for that to be updated um, so that I can walk my boys to the bus stop in the morning. But today, I have a meeting that starts at precisely 7.30. So I just didn't wanna like risk it. You know, like the bus is running behind or if anything came up. So I was just like, grateful that my husband was here um, and he could take the boys to be at the bus stop one time so um, yeah so this morning I'm I have this meeting that I've been preparing for for a couple of days and we're just trying to find some uh, specific platforms for some of our company or clients that we can recommend so I have some research and some recommendations um, the meeting will be starting in another 11 minutes, uh, so I want to get everything pulled up. Uh oh, did I make this meeting and I didn't even put a um, Google meeting link in there? Oh gosh, I didn't. So let me do that right now, so everybody will know where to go. Um, oh, I did it. It was good. They were happy. They were happy. Mm. So, the meeting, because the presentation was so well organized and put together, it didn't take nearly as long as I thought that it was gonna take, which means I have this little gap in my morning. Like I have a, I have a 30 minute gap. 
So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my morning routine done. I haven't had breakfast, I haven't had my coffee, so I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm going to come back and get through my meetings of the day and then we'll just go from there. We'll just, we'll just play it right here. Let's go get these routines done. All right guys, it is 10 14. I have to make it to a doctor's appointment in another 45 minutes. So I think the place is really close. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready to leave now. But if you can see my house, not perfect, but it's coming back to life. Um, in between breaks, I was able to kind of get something going on with the dishes. So we have a, two pots that are left and I'll just throw those in once that's done. And then my husband helped me uh, like sweep under the table. We got some of the clutter taken off the counter. Once again, not perfect, but progress, not perfection. So once I run through my routines again later on in the day, hopefully the little loose ends that I missed will be easier to, uh, to handle and pull together. Um, so I got the bed made, did the hot spots, got some dishes started. So the only thing that I really need to do is throw in a load of laundry. So I think I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get ready to go to my appointment. So. Okay, so we're back from picking up the boys. I just feel like it's always so sweet to get your kids from school. Like you just miss them all day, so it's just nice to have them back home and to walk together and to ask about their day and you know what happened and you know, and the boys seem to be very excited to be back in school and making friends. I feel like super happy for them. So it's 3.53 and I still have like another 30 something minutes of work. Welcome to my closet. Oh my gosh, it's totally like risey and messy in here or whatever. But yeah, I have this nice trash bag of stuff that I'm gonna donate. So I'm happy that I was able to get in here and pull some things out. And I'm pretty sure, according to my camera, I spent 10 minutes in here. And I know this is gonna help me out so much because, you know, let's just admit it. You know, your girl packed on that those COVID pounds and these COVID pounds just seem like they're here to stay. Um, that is not to say that I'm not trying to be healthier like me and my husband prior to this week. This week a little special, you know, back to school. But me and my husband have been going to our local YMCA, you know, um, during our lunch breaks. I've been getting in some swimming very consistently. I've been eating more salads and trying to make healthier choices. I'm not perfect and I am a long way from being perfect, but I'm going to make changes to my diet slowly, gradually. I've been trying to get sugar out of my diet um, and trying to take more sugar free things. And so, um, you know, and it's going to be a long journey of me making small tweaks that I hope will translate into, you know, some weight loss eventually so I'm like I'm not gonna punish myself by just keeping all of these clothes in here that are not for this season of my life and for this season of my life your girl is gonna be a thicky 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 thick thick I have slowly and gradually been um, replacing my wardrobe I'm going for a bunch of neutrals because the reason I like that is because it is so easy to find out what you're gonna wear when you're wearing neutrals. Like, you know, I can have like the pop of cuteness every once in a while, but for like the day-to-day -day work stuff, I feel classic and I feel pulled together with my little neutrals or whatever. So I've been allowing myself to purchase pieces like that. I'm trying not to get things that are too busy and I'm trying to get like a lot of pieces that can just go with each other. Kind of like, um, what do they call that? Uh, capsule wardrobe. That's kind of what I'm going for, a capsule wardrobe where I don't have to have a large quantity of stuff. I can have like a few staple pieces, but make 
lots of different outfits because I can put things together in different combinations. So that's what I'm going for. Like I don't want to have a large volume of clothes or a large volume of stuff because it's just too much stuff to clean. Anyway, um, I'm gonna change into something comfortable. Like that is something that I've been doing. Like I don't wanna feel tight and uncomfortable in any way. And dinner tonight is gonna be super easy. We're gonna be eating, usually I do like those Tyson's Anytizer wings on Fridays. I just refuse to cook on Fridays or at least cook anything, you know, that requires effort. So I'm about to go strip these clothes off and get into some PJs. I'm gonna go throw that chicken into the oven with some fries and I'm about to relax and get ready to enjoy the weekend with my babies. And over the weekend, I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog or not, I need to do some serious thinking about the way that we want next week to go because I don't think that I can survive going through five days of what I did this week with getting things ready and prepped in the morning. That was too much. So this weekend, I'm really gonna be thinking about plans to streamline that process. I really enjoyed vlogging today, um, but you know, editing is a whole nother story. So anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you like um, just everyday home management content, how how we gonna survive with these kids, girl? Well, how we gonna get through this? We need to put our heads together. If you like that kind of stuff, then subscribe and like this video on your way out. It's an awesome way to support the channel. All right, sounds like my girls are home.